थ्री टू वन गो नमस्ते डेफ सीपियंस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्चुअली सी हाउ कैन बी क्रिएट अ लुक एट इन ओनली वन एक्सिस एज यू सम ऑफ यू गैस नो दैट यूनिटी हैज ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ ट्रांसफॉर्म डॉट लुक एट फंक्शन विच विच Uh, I don't know how to say which uh, calculates the direction between the target and the player according to the target and the object which we have to rotate uh, according to the positions uh, like vector vector difference and then it will normalize it and then it will uh, rotate the object accordingly so. I have created seted up a scene with a cube uh, which has having a look at script and uh, firstly I am going to demonstrate how the normal look at works and this capsule script has uh, just a capsule mover and uh, in this we are simply doing transform dot translate based on a speed factor and look at is just simply transform dot look at at target dot position so if we hit play now we can actually see what I am talking about. so you see that uh, uh, it copies the rotation it uh, creates a rotation in uh, y axis z axis and x axis all the three axis but uh, if somebody is saying that i want to look at do look at in only one axis like uh, the global y axis and he only wants to follow like this not uh, like this or this uh, that's the that's what the look at was doing so to uh so let me discuss the situations in which look at in one axis can be useful uh, like uh, when a plane is going and a tank is under it and uh, the tank has to fire a missile from the nozzle so only the main only the i don't know how to say the nozzle can only rotate in the y axis it will not go up and down so in that cases we can use this method which i am going to show you so first thing first uh, i am not going that much into the quaternions we are all going to accomplish it by uh, using transform dot euler angles and this method which i am going to show you is both applicable for the local axis rotations and the global axis rotation so without any time wasting let's start in the look at script we are firstly going to set up a direction in which our target our transform has to look so the direction will be actually target dot position minus transform dot position this is what i have talked to you earlier dot normalize so we are using normalize because direction are always normalized and the next thing after catching the direction the next thing we are going to do is simply transform dot euler angles is assigned to new vector 3 now i am saying that i am going to rotate this cube in y axis only you can see uh, so i can here leave these two axis blank or you can say transform dot uh, euler angles dot x and uh, trans i will assign the y later and transform dot euler angles dot z we don't have to manipulate them so just leave them as they are and the next thing we are going to require an angle for this so we are going to creating a new variable which is float angle and uh, the angle will be transform dot euler angles dot y plus we are going to add something in this which is vector 3 dot sin angle now everything i speak listen to me carefully about this sin angle vector 3 from is uh, the uh, is the direction which is going to be the start point and vector 3 2 is the direction which is going to be the end point and axis is uh, a direction in and the axis is direction or axis in which the unity in this in which this function is going to decide whether the value is going to be positive or negative 
uh, the sign convention in unity for uh, rotations is that uh, the rotations done clockwise is positive and the rotations done anti clockwise is negative so if we go to the standard view we will face this y axis uh, uh, in front of us uh, like we face the clock and uh, i assume that uh, you know what a clockwise is uh, z axis forward and pointing forward and x going right which is by default so clockwise should rotate like this and anti-clockwise like this so let me demonstrate to you i am showing this and now what we are going to say here so let's see first this is our target capsule now uh, for a much clearer explanation i am going to draw some gizmos so you can visualize what i am talking about in a moment uh, this will take some time gizmos no gizmos and the function is actually called on draw gizmos mm -hmm. on draw gizmos and now we are going to actually say draw no 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 gizmos dot draw ray so we are going to draw a ray and ray requires a starting point which will be our transform dot position and it requires an a direction so direction is going to be this but we will not normalize it because after normalizing it it will be very small and you can see the things properly uh, it is going to direction and now you can visualize it when I go to the into the editor view. <sighs> this will take some time. Meditate for 30 seconds. <laughs> now you're actually taking a look at what I mean by this direction. So direction is target dot position minus transform dot position. So this is the target dot position minus transform dot position. It returns this vector. So we are going to rotate according to this vector. Now you can see that uh, when we rotate in the y axis, uh, to follow it, we should say that uh, the transform dot forward vector should point opposite to it. Now are you getting my point? So the transform dot minus minus transform dot forward vector should point. Uh, towards it now to make things clear we will say vector 3 dot sine angle and this the 2 will be from minus transform dot forward and the from will be direction and the next thing uh, which is going to be decided by the clockwise and anti-clockwise uh, is uh, the axis we are going to rotating in uh, we are going to rotate in the y axis so we will supply uh, not the y axis we are going to transform uh, rotate in the transform dot upwards axis which is the green axis and we will supply the angle here and now when we hit play we will say see that it is moving according to it only on one axis uh, meditate <laughs> stop meditating see this carefully focus so you are seeing there are some errors like this wow what a magic to solve this we are going to say direction dot y is 0 now some of you will be wondering why we are saying this as 0 because the uh, let me build it and I will explain to you because uh, the two vectors which are minus transform dot forward and the direction should be co-planar with uh, should be co-planar co that means they should lie in the same plane uh, to calculate the uh, to calculate the uh, signed angle between them efficiently if we say we are also going to uh, uh, take depth into account then direction and then uh, 
this thing can actually turn worse so we'll say direction dot y is assigned to zero and instantly you can see that it goes a straight line which is in the x y plane and there is nothing to do with the height now if we hit play let's see the results now now it is rotating smoothly and uh, the next thing we can also make it much more smooth by saying uh, by applying a smooth damp and it takes uh, a private variable which is vector 3 a smooth v we are not going to set it we are going to pass it by reference in the function uh, unit is going to set it for us and we are going to set this time to a smooth variable and uh, uh, forget my spellings uh, you should do it right and uh, that is all we need we are not going to directly assign it we are going to say it is a vector 3 which is uh, uh, let's call it new angles i don't know why my yes now my keyboard is working new angles and then we say transform dot euler angles is assigned to vector 3 dot smooth tam and we'll say transform dot euler angle it is the initial and then the target is new angles and the time no not the time for the third parameter is ref a smooth v and the fourth parameter is time uh, not the variable which we created now it's all set up and we're ready to go and hey guys uh I will also create an extension method for this which will be available in the script so you don't have to do uh, this much you can simply say transform dot look at one axis look at one axis and I will create a one local look at one axis local and uh, in local we'll say here local error angles and local error angles and in uh, normal or global we will say uh, dollar angles so now let's test it yes let it compile 0 0.2 and now let's test it focus oh it is moving smooth as heaven <laughs> now thanks for watching guys and uh, let me remind you i have uh, created a new asset which is ready to sell on the unity asset store it is about uh, a first person controller and it is mobile supportable webgl supportable and uh, it contains many advanced features so if you're interested you can see the description below and uh, i have achieved a milestone which is i have got over 100 subscribers so thank you guys for your support if any subscriber is watching thank you so much uh, for consistency with my channel and uh, from today onwards i will uh, upload two to three videos in a week I, I promise this and the videos are going to be awesome so if you like my content you can like this video and uh, let's wrap up this video by saying what the other youtubers say uh, what this is goes like this thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it you can hit the like button and uh, uh, share and subscribe this video and uh, uh, support me blah 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 blah, blah, blah. bye three two one